Hello everyone, welcome back. Okay, so a couple of videos ago I showed you this antique Yale push padlock that I won off of eBay. And I picked it open for you, it was my very first time I ever picked open a, um, a push lock. But um, yeah, I picked it open for you, but I didn't know really anything about this lock. Now since then, um, I watched an awesome video from our good friend from Germany, uh, Potty314. And he showed me how to actually take this lock apart and, um, yeah, pretty much gut it, disassemble it. So since then, I've done that. I've cleaned it up, um, sprayed it up real nice. I cleaned the pins, and I was actually pretty surprised to find out how clean it was inside. I did spray it with some lube pretty good, but now it's, it's pretty dry. I did put some of this um, graphite in there and stuff. But, um, yeah, I took it all apart. I cleaned it up. Um, I sprayed the inside and everything with brake cleaner hoping that wasn't the wrong thing to do but at the time I thought it was the right thing to do anyway um, got it nice and clean the chambers all flushed out and everything but yeah um, alright well enough of that I want to um, pick this open again and this time I'm going to take it apart I'll gut it and I will show you what it what I found inside of this lock and I was pretty impressed at what I found um, for a lock this old this lock is over a hundred years old and if what is true, what they say on eBay, this lock is uh, over 150 years old. So let's see if I can get it open again. This will be my second time. And I'm going to try to get this open. I don't know if it's going to be easier or harder now that um, I don't have any lube in it. But I'm going to try to get it open again. This time I'm going to take it apart. And I'm going to show you what I found inside it. Because I, like I said, I was pretty amazed. Um, and Jeff, Jeff is trying to get me a key for this. Now... Jeff, I know if you're watching this, I know I told you, I think, I thought the code on this said um, 3691, I believe. Well, now I took another look at it. I, I think it actually says 2681, if that makes any sense to you. But, um, yeah, let's see if we can get in it again. And this time I'm going to open it up because I want to show you guys what I found inside this lock. Alright, here we go. Bear with me again. This is only the second time we're doing this, and this, I'll show you why this is not an easy lock to get into. Alright, that was pin two. That was pin four. set for let's try it again very hard because these pins do jam up put a little bit too much tension everything in this locks up put enough you overset Sorry if I'm being very quiet. I'm just trying to concentrate here. Just hope I can get it open again. Oh, all right, there we go. Sweet. Whew. Oh, God. Can't believe I opened it again. But it is open, which is awesome, because now I can show you guys what is inside this lock, because, like I said, I was very impressed what I found. I'm going to put that on the ground. Grab this. Alright. 
So, I'm going to use this tray here so I could actually show you the pins a little bit better with this tray. Alright, first of all, I found out this here is like a, a, a cap screw here. This actually comes off the top of this. Um, what did I do with that leather? I don't want to have to use my pliers again. I actually, even using a rag, I scratched it up a little bit there. But, um, is it on here? No. Where is it? What did I do with you? Come on now. Oh, here it is. I'm going to try to get it off with this. Yep, here it is. This is under spring tension. This is under spring tension too. The spring goes through here up to here. It's like a flat uh, spring um, stuck. You can see there's a tip on that that actually goes through that hole and it holds a spring in there. But, alright, let's put that down there. Let's um, find out which way the pins are, which are this way. And we will get my follower here. First we have to get the springs have dropped all the way, which I believe it is. Alright, here we go. Alright, there we are. I put that down there. Now you can see, like I said, I cleaned it up. Cleaned up the core pretty good. Um, and those pins are down pretty far below the shear line. I mean, even that one there, and I'll show you how pretty long these these pins are too but first let's get them out all right this is pin one pin two pin three pin four and of course there's nothing done to this core put that down there get my tweezers and straighten these out a little bit okay all right, let's get the pins out of the Bible. And this is the front right here. I need to focus this in a little bit. All right. I don't know if you can see that. There's the tip of that spring. And we've got the flashlight. That's the spring right there where it grabs in this groove in the core and that's what actually springs it back down but here we go pin one is a serrated spool very fine serrations even at the top of that spool there's actually a serration in there pin two is another spool again with serrations on the top of it it's weird it, this one here even has like a piece of um, metal sticking out of the bottom like maybe it was attached to the spring but none of the other ones are like that so I don't really think so all right it's getting hard to see and it's very dark in here and here we have another very small spool again with serrations on the top and bottom I was very amazed to see that and again pin 5 another spool serrated top and bottom very small serrations alright well I'm not going to dump the springs those are all the same they are cleaned up but I do want to try to give you a look at these pins. Let me see if we are still focused here. Let me grab this little one actually. Um, I don't know what that light. Let me move that light out of the way. There we go. All right. Let me see if I got that to focus. If you can see those serrations, top and bottom, 
of that spool. Very, very fine serrations. I was really amazed to see that. And all these key pins are all finely serrated. Very fine. And this one here is actually worn out. On one side, you really can't see serrations, but if you look at, see if I can get the other side here. Here's the other side of it, and it still has the serrations. So one side of that one is worn out, and this one here was in the third one, and look at how long that one is, and it was still below the shear line. Again, with serrations through the whole thing, top to bottom. Every one of these are spool serrated and top and bottom. Pretty amazing. I was so amazed to find that in a lock this old. So yeah, I just thought I had to share that with you guys. And Potty314, thank you so much for that video. I would have never known how this lock came apart. So yeah, thank you very much for that. I mean, that's how, that's how we learn, guys. We're watching each other's, each other's videos and um, yeah, totally awesome. So there you go, guys. If you um, enjoyed this video, Please hit that like button and um, if you have any questions or comments, comment below. And please, everybody, stay safe and stay legal. Bye, guys.